Right, hey, and welcome to my channel. Today I'm making policy envelopes or gusset envelopes. Yay, with the gussets at the side. So, if you want to know how to make those, it's so simple to do, and that keeps crafting a craft a lunch, craft a lunch, <laughs> craft a lunch, as um, Julie says. It's doing it to me. So, there we go. If you want to know how to make these, it's so simple. I just make one and um, go through all the process very quickly. And obviously, you can choose different measurements. Uh, to suit your needs and different obviously if you want to do vintage you don't have to do this lovely bright colors but that is available on my group so please subscribe to my channel press notification bell with your crafty fingers share my video and please give me a thumbs up and cool and also join my facebook group hazy crazy arts so let's go now and find out how we make these right then so here we go today let's make a gussy envelope i've got a piece of paper here and i've cut it down i've cut an edge off so i can use that for the extra bits we need and it is uh, nearly 12 inches which is the A4 by I think it's six and six and three quarters yeah that's right yay right so what I'm going to do now is fold this this is the inside uh, which, if you've got something like this you need to decide which is the best way around and it doesn't matter which way around that is apart from I prefer the daffodils to be yeah, that's going to be fine. Um, they're fine anyway. Right then, so I'm going to cut this, cut this, so fold this about uh, four inches up. I'm using my mat to measure, so that's is that about four inches. Yeah, no, oh yeah, it's not that. Four inches up, look. Yeah, so there we go. And now I'm going to uh, fold it, uh, let's see, about to, I'm going to, not going to fold it so it's touching this. I'm going to fold it so it's not touching that. Even a gap of about well, 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 about uh, three quarter of an inch, eh? Like that. Okay, look what I've got handy. Bone fold. I'm making sure that is correct because that, yeah, that's a very slight. Yeah, uh, uh, uh. right. So I'm going to fold this and fold that. Yeah, here's one I made earlier with a different. Uh, pattern in the middle that's very bright that's like a that's a gel press that's a, a gel press but that's a faded gel press that's a gel press with uh so a copy of one it's a scan of one um with a stencil and that's what it was yours right what do we need now i'm going to do the buttons first the reason i'm doing the buttons first is because in case you decide that you want to um have a you can have a brad on there to keep keep it on so if you wanted to do the brad you'd do it now so i'll do it now anyway just to remind you but i'm not using a brad i'll be at two and i'm also going to not use a brad i'm going to use some um right so it brings it up a bit better actually i haven't finished that one actually that other one three Whoa, so it's firing at me. <laughs> You've got to be careful it doesn't fire at me. Right, move those out of there, out the way. I'm going to glue these now. Oh, I need the thing, don't I? So I'm going to glue these. I'm going to find some... Yeah, I need this to be an inch big. Just down one end, so you've got the other end for you. So what's up with this thing at the moment? It's a bit weird. There we go. A bit strange. Doesn't like to be used. Oh, that's better. Oh, see, you prompt you. I don't know. Right, I'm going to put this on with this. I did try the uh, stick glue a minute ago, but I think this will probably stick it a little bit better. Where are we? Are we in the shot? We are in the shot. There we go. How about that? Right, and this one. Obviously, this sort of. If some people say that they can't glue very well to that um, cereal box thing, well, just make sure you just have to hold it. Hold the. Um, item on for a bit longer so you hold the that's with one of these to make sure it glues hold it in place like that it's only take a minute or two to do it so right so let's find all my circles Where, oh there's the other one I'll say it's decided because it seemed to fire up, fire up at me why did they do that <laughs> right again I'm going to just glue that side to the cardboard side uh, yeah, the cardboard side, that's right, yeah. There we go, look, like that, you see. And then you keep that in place. And that, that's to lift it up a bit, instead of using a brad. It's easy to use the circle, you can cut them out yourself. 
they can be arty and cut them out uh, cut them out drawing them which is what i've been doing lately and i'm loving that way and go to shinuki art it's brilliant just do that with a with a pen until you get a circle and <laughs> it's fun <laughs> i love that right right i'm gonna do now is, oh actually yeah i'll glue these rather than the i was gonna glue that but no don't do that do we right so we glue yeah because i sometimes i do but that's naughty. Right, I'm putting it in there, making sure we're in the middle. Okay, we're in the middle there. Making sure that's actually... The top's in the middle, isn't it? I've noticed that there's a bit of... Mm, yeah, that's a bit naughty, but I think it's okay. I'm going to ink it up anyway, so we're fine. Yeah, inking up covers up a multitude of sins, doesn't it? Sometimes when you've got like white paper showing and bits of cereal box showing <laughs> that you don't want showing. There we go. Right, so I'm going to put that on there nicely like that. It doesn't matter about the glue at the moment, as long as it dries. Right, so I'm going to put... Now, first of all, let's do this. There we go, that should help with the cereal box problem. Can you tell there's a cereal box under there now? I don't know. Oh, where's the where's the middle? I don't know. It seems a bit. Yeah, I think it's fine unless you really examine it closely. No, you won't think that's a cereal box. Right. So right, I'm going to glue these on. Let's make sure that's in the middle still. Got to make sure the other one's in the middle actually as well. Yep. Right. To make sure this is in the middle, I've got my mat. So I'm going to use my mat. Very good. To have a mat like this. Then you can. So I'm going to, why have we got pieces of? It looks like a pot for dop it in. Right. So we go in the middle there. Ooh, go right in the middle. Yeah, sort of there. One, two, three. There's the middle. So we sort of like try and get our... That looks like it's in the middle. And this one a bit further down. There we go. Right, there. Right, let's have a look. Where's my thing? Where's my... Um, oh, there it is. So I need two lengths of this. Oh, I need this. I'm going to move it out of the way for. I need to measure two lengths of this. So I'm measuring from there to there. This is to make your gusset there. Okay, I need to... You can obviously draw lines and things. I mean, I'm going to put a little from across there. I'm not going to fold it because then you get, start getting that little edge, don't you? Right, you need to sort of make sure it's straight across using whatever. And if anything, it needs to be further up this way rather than that way. So you need a little gap, actually. What am I doing? Have I got a little gap? I've got a little gap, yeah. I think that's enough. Yeah. And I'm folding it in a W shape. So like this. Okay. Mm. Folding it in a W shape, okay, like that, and then we fold it like this. I don't know if that's going to be right or, right or not. Going to find out. <laughs> right, so if I put that there, we might see if I have to fold it the other way instead. I don't know. Oh, that's got that is too high. Or I need a little bit. Perhaps I need a little bit cutting off the other end. If I've got that in there, does that work? Hmm. So I need one about the same length, so I've just cut a tiny bit off of that. So I've already done the, the sliver. Cut a tiny bit off so it fits a little bit better, right? Which way are we folding it? We're folding it, I don't know. I don't know. I've tried both mm, wrong way. I've tried both ways. And I don't know if this way is going to work any better. So I'm folding the inside out. So I'm folding it like that, then I'm going to fold the all the way. I think it's going to be the same as the other one. Right, let's have a look. I have no idea what I did on my video, so let's have a look. Ooh. Right. It is funny though, if you look at my video between 26 minutes and 30, it's very funny. <laughs> now, what you do now is open up this. Now, if you've, because obviously you, you might have a brad there you would cover that up with something like washi tape or if you haven't got a, a um, 
inside cover, cover it up with the inside uh, your, um, inside cover. Right, I'm going to try and get this on the outside. It's best to have it now, a little tiny bit from the edge, about half a millimetre, which is a very tiny little uh, measurement. Kitchen door creaks, I don't know if you heard that. Right. Uh, he's attracting my dog, that's my son. Right, let's try and get this side so you can see it. My dog, it's my dog. Ooh, my dog didn't matter. That's my daughter's dog, which is she's got a baby. And my excuse is well, she's got the baby to look after. So I'm having the dog. Yay! Yay! <laughs> I love him. It's gorgeous. Right. Okay. So I'm going to try and get that there. Right, there was a picture. Actually, yeah, at the beginning of that video, there is actually in my fifth video, I think it is. Gusset envelopes. And there is actually Nico at the beginning. Yeah, so I've got a sausage roll waiting for me, so that'd be a nice warm one. I just got that from the shop, yay. <laughs> there we go. And this one. Actually, I'm going to finish off my avocado avocados today, so I can make my... <laughs> oh dear, well, perhaps I can just eat avocado without the toast. That's the, there we go. Right, so now we've got that, and that's how I've done it. If you noticed, I've glued the... And just folded it and it's worked. Yay! Now I've got a corner. The only corner around I can find is this one. I'm going to use a 10 millimeter, which is half. Was it half in it? I don't know which one it is. It, oh, see, it didn't, it's not working now. Now I said, uh, uh, oh, it did. It worked uh, twice. Tried twice. Okay. There we go. Now we're going to look inside, see how we're doing. I think that is the right way, actually. So if you're folding it, and you want you've got some uh, fold the outside in first, so it's, so it looks like it's got the inside on the outside. Now where's a, where's a piece of paper to show you? Yeah, so here's a piece of paper. So make sure you fold it. So that's the design you're having on the outside. Make sure you fold it like this first, and then fold it like that. Okay, and that, and then glue this bit onto the and face it outwards. Face your that bit out unless you want the inside on the other side then do it the other way around because that would look probably nice as well wouldn't it right okay so there we go now i've got that now all i've got to do now is the string yep so i've got this let's see how much we need i don't know let's put this in now i think it depends how you do it but i think you need it tying to the side like this If I remember right, <laughs> just going to tie that. I haven't um, decided how long I need it yet, so I don't think I'll just tie three, tie three knots anyway. I was going to say try three knots, try three knots, <laughs> cut it off um, short as you can, I suppose, if you like. So that's now around that, those smaller circles, right. Now the reason I say that is because when I've had it down there, I find it difficult. But because it's there, it's a bit easier. I'm going to find a hab again. I haven't done it yet, so. Hmm. Nice brightly coloured thread. <laughs> okay, you won't need this if you're making a vintage one, I suppose, will you? But mine's brightly coloured, so I don't know how many times I've wrapped it around now. That's called a policy closure, whatever you do, I suppose. Even with, Or you can put uh, eyelets as well, can't you, through those? That's another way of doing it. I'm going to go once more and then I'm going to cut it. And go plenty up. If you don't want to do it like this, I'm going to measure it. I'm sort of like thing to give you some, of our, some idea of how long it is. I won't be able to, won't be able to see me measure it. I'm just going to go off camera one minute. Let's hold up. That is 19. So... I would say 24 inches or something like that would be fine. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm not doing that very well, am I? Let's get some better ones. I'll switch it off so I can get me thing and I forgot to switch it back on.
think slightly different. So perhaps £59 would be actually a little bit better. Uh, this is, you know, I thought this was quite strong, but it is quite, so like 160 gram or £59. So I know that one. <laughs> so that's how it's worked out and that's perfect. Okay, so let's just fasten it up and then we can... So please subscribe to my channel, please give me a thumbs up, please share my video, press notification bell with your crafty fingers and please uh, join my Facebook group Crazy Crazy Arts on Facebook. Yay! Yeah, I've got lots on there. I've probably got this on there actually. I think I, I think I have. Definitely got that on there for you to use if you like that one. So you can use it for anything, happy mail, things like that and obviously the ends of your journal put inside your journals I think that'd be great so if you've got stuck that in your journal then you can stick if you're sticking it in your journal you can actually stick this so sticking it inside you can actually stick it on the back <laughs> which might be slightly easier but anyway and there's this one as well that I haven't finished yet so right then so let's go now and I will say bye and I'll introduce it now okay